Welcome to Ministry of Hacking, let's dive right in. Today we're exploring the top 10 habits to make you a better hacker in 2025. This isn't just about knowing the latest exploit or having the coolest tools, it's about cultivating a hacker mindset, thinking outside the box, being resourceful, and always pushing boundaries. So, buckle up and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe to Ministry of Hacking for more ethical hacking content. First up, continuous learning. It's the cornerstone of success in any field, especially in cybersecurity. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. Every day, new threats emerge and new defenses are developed. What worked yesterday might be obsolete tomorrow. Staying updated is not just an option, it's a necessity. New vulnerabilities are discovered, new attack vectors emerge, and new technologies change the game. It's a dynamic battlefield. To stay ahead, you need to be a lifelong learner. This means constantly seeking out new information and skills. Think of it like leveling up in a video game. Each new skill or piece of knowledge is like gaining experience points. You wouldn't beat the final boss with level 1 gear, right? You need to upgrade your skills and tools. The same goes for hacking. You need the latest tools and knowledge to tackle the toughest challenges. Tons of resources are available. Online courses, certifications, conferences, webinars. The internet is a treasure trove of learning opportunities. Make it a habit to dedicate time each week to learning something new. Even just an hour can make a big difference over time. Follow security researchers on social media, listen to podcasts, watch documentaries. These can provide valuable insights and keep you updated on the latest trends. The key is to make learning a part of your routine, not a chore. Consistency is crucial for long-term success. The more you know, the more dangerous, in a good way, you become. Knowledge is power, and in cybersecurity, it's your best weapon. In the world of hacking, code is king. If you want to be a master, you got to speak it fluently. Start with the basics. Python, JavaScript, C++. Coding is not a spectator sport. You got to get your hands dirty, write your own code, break it, fix it, and learn from your mistakes. Think of it like learning to play an instrument. You wouldn't expect to shred like Jimi Hendrix just by watching him play, right? The more you code, the more comfortable you'll become with different programming concepts, and the better you'll understand how systems work and how to exploit them. Hacking can feel solitary, but you don't want to go it alone. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals can make all the difference. You're stuck on a nasty piece of code or trying to figure out a new exploit. Who are you going to call? Your network of hacker buddies. Joining hacking communities and forums is like unlocking a treasure chest of knowledge. You'll find people with different skill sets and experiences willing to share their wisdom. Sometimes, you just need someone who gets it. Online forums like Hack Forums and Reddit are great places to start. Attend cybersecurity conferences and meetups, both online and offline. Remember, in the world of hacking, collaboration is key. Ethical hacking. Don't be a jerk. Let's talk ethics. As hackers, we have a responsibility to use our powers for good. No hacking into systems without permission, no stealing data, and no causing harm. Ethical hacking or penetration testing is about finding vulnerabilities so they can be fixed. It's like being a digital security consultant, helping companies strengthen their defenses. Tons of certifications like CEH and OSCP can give you the skills and credibility you need. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use your hacking skills for good, and you'll be rewarded with a fulfilling career. Developing problem-solving skills. Think outside the box. It's a mantra that can transform the way you approach challenges. Hacking is problem-solving at its finest. It's not just about breaking into systems, it's about understanding them deeply and finding innovative ways to navigate through obstacles. You're presented with a challenge, a locked door, a seemingly impenetrable system, and your job is to find a way in. Each obstacle is a puzzle waiting to be solved. This requires more than just technical skills. It demands lateral thinking and creative problem solving. Embrace challenges as opportunities to grow and learn. Don't shy away from puzzles, riddles, or brain teasers. Actively seek them out. They sharpen your mind and enhance your ability to think critically and creatively. There are tons of websites and apps dedicated to logic puzzles and coding challenges. These platforms offer a playground for your brain, helping you to practice and refine your skills. It's not about finding the right answer every time. It's about the journey, the process of exploring different approaches, and the thrill of discovery. It's about the process, exploring different approaches, testing your assumptions, and learning from your mistakes. Each error is a stepping stone to a better solution. The more you exercise your problem-solving muscles, the better equipped you'll be to tackle complex hacking challenges. 
Just like physical exercise, mental exercise builds strength and resilience. Staying organized, a place for everything and everything in its place. Let's talk organization. It's not just a buzzword, it's a crucial skill for anyone in the tech world. Think about it, you're in the middle of a penetration test with multiple tools running and data streaming in. The last thing you need is to waste time searching for that one tool or file you need. If your workspace is a chaotic mess, you're gonna have a bad time. Disorganization leads to frustration, mistakes, and wasted time. Staying organized is about streamlining your workflow, maximizing efficiency, and minimizing distractions. An organized workspace can significantly boost your productivity and focus. Create a system that works for you, whether that means color coding files, using a task manager, or a whiteboard. Find what helps you stay on top of your tasks and stick to it. It's also about keeping your digital life organized. A cluttered desktop can be just as distracting as a messy physical workspace. Create folders for different projects and make sure everything is labeled clearly so you can find what you need quickly. Use strong passwords and a password manager to keep your account secure and easily accessible. And don't forget to back up your data regularly. Losing important files can set you back significantly. By staying organized, you'll free up mental bandwidth to focus on what really matters, hacking the Gibson. So take the time to set up your space and systems. Your future self will thank you. Imagine trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. That's what it's like trying to hack a system without understanding its architecture. System architecture is like the blueprint of a digital environment. It outlines how different components interact, how data flows, and where vulnerabilities might lie. To be an effective hacker, you need to read this blueprint and understand the layout of the land. This means diving deep into operating systems, network protocols, hardware configurations, and more. You don't need to be a walking encyclopedia, but you do need a solid understanding of fundamental principles. The more you know about how things are put together, the better equipped you'll be to find ways to take them apart. In cybersecurity, tools are constantly evolving. New exploits are discovered, new vulnerabilities are patched, and new software updates are released. If you're not keeping your tools up to date, you're fighting a losing battle. Outdated tools can be buggy, ineffective, and even dangerous. Regularly updating your tools ensures you have access to the latest features, bug fixes, and security enhancements. It's like having the sharpest knife in the drawer, ready to tackle any challenge. Updating tools can be time consuming, but it's a small price to pay for staying ahead. Make it a habit to check for updates regularly. Many tools even offer automatic updates, so you don't have to lift a finger. Let's talk soft skills. While technical skills are crucial, soft skills are equally important. You've just uncovered a critical vulnerability in a company's system. You need to communicate your findings clearly and persuasively. Enhancing your soft skills, such as communication, teamwork, and problem solving, can make all the difference. It's not just about what you know, but how you communicate it and collaborate with others. Join a hacking community, participate in online forums, attend conferences, and network with other professionals. The more you interact with others, the more comfortable you'll become with expressing your ideas and working in teams. The hacking life can be demanding. Long hours staring at screens and intense focus can take a toll on your health. Maintaining your physical and mental health is about performing your best. When you're well-rested and in a positive state of mind, you're better equipped to focus and solve problems. Prioritize your well-being amidst the chaos of hacking. Get enough sleep, eat a healthy diet, stay hydrated, and exercise regularly. Don't underestimate the power of taking breaks. Step away from the screen, stretch your legs, get some fresh air, and recharge. Hacking is a marathon, not a sprint. Take care of yourself, and you'll be in it for the long haul. So, there you have it, folks. Those are the 10 habits to level up your hacking game in 2025 and beyond. Remember, becoming a better hacker is a continuous journey, not a destination. Keep learning, keep practicing, and never stop pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to Ministry of Hacking for more ethical hacking content. Stay safe and happy hacking.